and every one of you. This is Tony Henderson Mayer, television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur known as Wise Courtship all over social media because of my book with a three-step system. It will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. And today is check in and chat. And so make sure that you are sharing this broadcast. Let me see who's in so far. Um, wow, Judy, good to see you. Good to see you. Wendy, good to see you uh, here. Make sure that you are sharing this broadcast by touching right down there where it says share. OK, even if you're on Periscope, um, you can share with all your followers. You can put it on Facebook. You can also um, tweet it out. And if you are on Facebook, you can share with all of your followers or friends. You can um, put it on your timeline or invite individual people in, or you can do a watch party. And so today I'm so excited because in a few moments, we're going to have uh, Vandora Wood, um, who's going to be with us, also known as uh, Busy Lizzie. <laughs> so I can't wait to have her on. So while we're um, do, waiting for her, she's ready and waiting for us. I do want to put on a few things to remind you that you can go to my website at www.wisecourtship.com um, for more information about the Wise Courtship movement. And then, of course, if you want digital products, um, e-courses, e-books, um, um, also audio recordings, different things like that. You can go to bit.ly forward slash shop Tony. Um, the business courses are there. The relationship courses, everything that people have been asking about is there. And also um, we have started a uh, create, create streams of income journey. So if you want to get started, start with part one by going to bit.ly forward slash create streams part one and make sure darlings you are um, putting the link in exactly as you see it, because these bit.ly links are case sensitive. OK, so um, we are so excited about having our upcoming guest, um, Vandora Wood. She's our specialist uh, for today. And we're going to um, be talking about decluttering and organizing, uh, maximize your time while sheltered in place. And so many of us, we really can't technically go anywhere. And so why, since we're home, we might as well go ahead and uh, do some things that are going to be beneficial while we are home. So guys, go ahead and share this broadcast. This is our check-in and chat. It is um, just laid back. Okay. It's not like when I do my biblical teachings, this is really laid back. We're going to have a lot of fun. So um, I ask for you guys to go ahead and share and get people into this broadcast. So um, first, I want to introduce Vandora Wood. She is the owner of Busy Lizzie Declutter and Organizing Services. She's the founder and creator of the Healthy um, Grieving Series. And she's a life strategist, a coach, a speaker, um, trainer, and virtual uh, facilitator. She's a tribe leader, and she was 2019 Clutter Free Movement. Um, she has 30 plus years in management as a government contractor, and she is the local captain with Best Christmas. Um, she also has a six week declutter home program, and I'm really, really excited to speak with her. Um, another thing, too, I met her through uh, the Wise Courtship Movement. She is part of the Wise Courtship family. She's also a chapter leader of the um, DC, Maryland, Virginia area, and we are uh, temporarily 
waiting, okay, <laughs> to reopen ourselves. We got a lot of stuff going on right now, as you know, and uh, I don't think any of us need to be close together at this moment, but once we are back in action, you will see her uh, smiling and lovely face. So I am so excited to um, introduce and to show to all of you Vandora Wood, um, AKA known as Busy Lizzie. So we're gonna add her into the broadcast. Hello, darling, how are you? Hello, beautiful, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, it's so good to see you. And I'm so glad to really um, talk with you on today in our check-in and chat. I figure, you know, if we're gonna check in and chat, we might as well chat about something that's gonna be beneficial to each and every one of you. So I got a lot of stuff, I'm juggling a lot of balls right now, y'all. So. Just excuse me if y'all feel like, what is she doing? But I am paying attention because I need, all of us need this, right? All of us need this information. So all of us. Me. We're, um, we're into something new. Um, this yeah. uh, pandemic, coronavirus, it's really gotten all of us out of our comfort zones. Even Absolutely. those who work from home, mm -hmm. it's a different environment because now you've got other people in your spaces. Yeah, you know, that is true. That is true because now for most of us who are uh, social media strategists, uh, as we say, um, uh, so social media experts, um, we all have some mm -hmm. sort of that we do in social media. But many of us have been doing this mobile live stream for seven, eight years. And I know beyond that, I was doing the... Um, the event live stream okay as well mm -hmm. so we've been in this game for a long time and as we say it's, it's it can be mean in these social media streets <laughs> mm -hmm. so i want to get be right prepared. to uh, this because um i want you to personally tell everybody um who you are and what you do absolutely thank you first of all for allowing me to be here to just chat with you i I'm so grateful to the, for this opportunity because um, I come to teach how to declutter in ways that, and organize in ways that save you time, money, and stress. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, if many, if you don't know me, I'm the owner of Busy Lizzie's Decluttering and Organizing Service, and the Healthy Grieving Series came about. Uh, about five years ago when my son passed away and I needed to create a new normal. So establishing a new normal, which a lot of us are finding ourselves in that position right now because nothing is the way it was a couple weeks ago. Wow. A month yeah. ago. Absolutely. Our lives have changed dramatically and we're needing to start a new normal. And Starting with decluttering and allowing some of that to be released is very beneficial because clutter can increase stress. And right now, we don't need anything that increases our stress. Yeah. According to the uh, psycho psychology, um, social psychology bulletin, um, clutter if you have unfinished projects around your home or in your office, or you you are increasing your correct, they're most likely increased clutter, depression, and higher levels of cortisol. Wow. Um, before we go further, I want to definitely, because this is so good, I definitely want to say a hello to a Judy to Dr. Tammy Francis. Judy's on Facebook. Dr. Tammy Francis is on um, Periscope. Uh, God Loves Rio, that's Ma uh, Mario. He is on um, Periscope. Karen Mitchell, good to see you. She's on Facebook saying hello. And Seema on Facebook, good to see you as well. So we're talking about, guys, um, decluttering our home and organizing with um, Vandora Wood, aka Busy Lizzie. And so if you have any particular questions, go ahead and put it through the chat box and I will uh, try to get to them as soon as we possibly can, okay? So that we can address those questions to her. So um, listen, many of us have a hard time um, finding time, Vandora, to declutter our home, mm -hmm. okay? And now it seems like we have the time, but... Um, the motivation, I guess, might be too low. I don't know. So what do you say to people who have a hard time getting started to declutter their home? 
Well, I would say number one would be to fix what bugs you the most. Wow, um, yeah. I know for a fact, if you're the kind of person who lays in the bed and you look at your closet and it stresses you out, or it causes anxiety when you go into that closet to find something to wear, the closet is full, but you can't find anything to wear. Wow. So if that's an, or you go look for makeup and you can't find it, fix what bugs you the most. Wow, that is so good. Um, that will get you started. It'll also give you motivation to do more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that is so key. Good to see you, the Elaine Forbes. Good to see you on Periscope. Thank you for tuning in. Guys, make sure you go ahead and share this broadcast on Periscope and as well as, well as Facebook Live because I think people will be, really be blessed by what's being said on today. And so, you know, in, instead of what I hear you saying is instead of trying to tackle this big, big thing, work on what is really in your way, in your face. You just It just irritates you and uh, takes away some of the peace exactly. that you have. Okay, great. So It takes away your peace. It, it causes you also to lose your time, lose time. Yeah. So let's talk about, um, about the peace, you know, because I don't think people really equate um, having a, a space that's cluttered or unorganized to you, okay, that, um, mm -hmm. that it can bring about um, some sort of imbalance emotionally. Let's talk about that for a moment. What are your well, thoughts on that? Let's talk about that. What is clutter? Mm. What is clutter? Clutter is an overabundance of possessions that collectively create chaotic and disorderly living spaces. Wow. You lose focus. You can't focus. You gain more uh, energy because your cortisol level is actually a fight or flight mechanism that's built into our bodies automatically. Right. And what happens when you're um, stressed, it causes your cortisol level to rise. Mm. On the regular, our cortisol level goes down at night. But if wow. you're that individual who's laying in the bed looking at that closet and it's a mess, or you're laying there thinking about the room that you left chaotic and you got to get up in the morning and figure out how to get past it, it's stressing you. Your yeah. body yeah. does not get that chance to rest or relax Absolutely. or recover. Absolutely. So um, where could, how can we get started? I know you said, let's, let's work on the thing that bother us the most. So if we were to start with day one, what would be one of the things you would suggest to us to do in day one? I would suggest you take it in small bites. Good. Let me give you an example of that. Um, I'm going to declutter my closet, but my closet is overwhelming. Where do I start? Hmm. Let me start with, let's say, the floor, first of all, so that you can get, get into the space. So start with your floor and work okay. your way up. You've got clothes that are falling off hangers and all over the place, and they're not. Wow. Get rid of all those plastic hangers that create that mess in your closet. Get something uniform, something very flat and simple. Absolutely. You know, I that thought about will give you. And then when you're doing that, sort one clothing type. So your pants, your shirts, your dresses, one at a time, all dresses, sort those. You'll be surprised at how much you get done. 15 minutes, my dresses are sorted. Wow. Tomorrow, I'm going to go back to that closet and take a small bite out of it and sort my skirts. Wow, that's amazing. 
So we talked about starting with the floor and working our way up. Guys, if you are seeing something mm -hmm. or hearing something um, and you're enjoying it, let us know. But also if you have a question um, for, for Vandora in regards to decluttering or organizing your home while we are sheltered in place, um, there are some things that we um, can have organized. You know, sometimes it's our home in general, um, but sometimes it's just a particular spot, maybe our office, or um, maybe um, when people come in the first come into the house, that area, um, sometimes it's the bedroom. So um, what what can we do differently when it's just a particular spot? What is that? First of all, what is that saying about us when it's a particular spot? And what can we do about uh, decluttering that area or, or, or organizing it? Well, recognize also that um, you can take a deep breath. You didn't get there overnight. So decluttering is a skill. It's something you have to practice. So once you've gotten a area decluttered or you have everything in its place with a place of its own, when you finish using it, you put it back where you got it from. Yeah, this is this makes it simple for those of us who have who have children or other people in the home to know where to find it, where to return it, and how to actually keep that environment clear. Absolutely. That's a lesson that I'm constantly teaching um, at home because I'm in a house full of men. And, you know, like most of us who are sheltered in place, pretty much everyone is home. There are some rare cases where people are home alone. Yeah. But um, in most cases, people have a house full, you know, because before people were coming and going, but people are there all the time. Um, so you talked about putting everything back in its place. Um, what does that do for us um, when we know that um, when we put something in one area that we can come back to it time and time again? What does that do, you know, for the whole household and the way things run? Um, how does that affect everything? Well, it creates a system. And, you know, any kind of system that you have in place that you use on a regular basis becomes a natural habit. So the the real key here is not getting overwhelmed, but just kind of relax and, and share your goals with your family and invite them to become a part of the decluttering session so that they also will help you um, decide the best place to put things. So if they're using it, it's common for them, have them help you. Yeah, absolutely. Because I, I guess that brings up a point about, um, you know, when you could go to people's office or their um, or look on their desk, sometimes it seems messy to, to, to us, but it's an organized sy system for them. And so that kind of brings out the point that everybody's a little different. So I guess... Um, for the home, the home in general, would you say that there is a certain way we would declutter and organize versus someone's personal space, like their bedroom or their office maybe? Well, what I'm gonna say is this, what looks like clutter to me may not be clutter to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's personal, like right. you said, and the strategy that you put around how to declutter your home has to fit your needs and your family's needs because right now I'm a I'm one whereas there's a family of four and two of those four are kids yeah young kids and they add additional uh needs right so clutter to that mom looks different from Absolutely. what it looks like in my household or in my opinion. Does that yeah. make sense? Yes, it most so certainly that does. That would be the first thing to make a consideration of. What are your family's needs and how is this going to best fit 
into your time schedule. Absolutely. That's such a great point because when, when my sons were very, very little, um, it was a lot of organization um, because you know you could basically put them in a playpen or you could put them in a particular room to play as they got a little bit older. Um, but then once they were school age where they were involved in a lot of activities and they were coming and going, the organization got a little bit harder, but I found that I had to be a, a, a lot more organized. I had to use a lot of different tools that would um, help me to be organized. So can you talk about some of the tools that people could use to help um, get themselves organized so that they can yeah. get that clutter down? Some of the tools, I one of the tools that I use mainly is have a routine. Have a routine that you use on a regular basis. Yeah. So let's say um, one of the recurring um problems that I know a lot of people deal with is laundry. Mm. Laundry is not going to stop. No, it's You're going to be at home, but you're still <laughs> going to have laundry. So setting a laundry system in place. Um, what day are we going to do laundry? Uh, are, are we washing for everyone in the household? Is there a time that I'm scared I'm going to do my laundry that yeah. that's me? my need. Also, a um, good example is how am I going to uh, take that laundry all the way through to putting it away? Because once you've decluttered, you don't want to stay in that same habit or mindset or routine. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I totally agree. Um, I have found too that um, sometimes you don't always know um, maybe because we're so busy or we're not paying attention. I'm not too sure. Sometimes you don't always know ahead of time that mm -hmm. a certain area is going to clutter up or need to be organized. Like for right. instance, um, when we, when they would come in from sports and different things like that, they had every ball known to man in, in the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I had to, that dictated that I had to get some sort of organizer in the trunk to kind of organize all the balls and bats and gloves. Um, and the same thing too, when they would come in the house, they just kind of would toss their shoes at the door. And that kind of dictated that I had to put shoes in a, you know, the little shoe rack organizer. Um, are there some other areas that, um, that you see that people, um, not, don't really pay attention to, but it can really end up being a mess if they don't um, pay attention to it and try to try to organize that. Well, let me make a suggestion regarding organizing uh, tools and those uh, cubbies or bins or things that you use to yeah. sort your items before you go purchase them. Have a plan. Mm -hmm. Have an idea of how you're going to use it. Because otherwise, you're going to just be stacking bins inside of bins and you're going to have bins stacked and your stuff is still over there in a mess. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. That's such a great tip because it has so to be sure. useful and functional. Um, I'm Plan it out to... and make yeah. sure that when you go, that you have a purpose for the bins that you get or you have a purpose for that rack that you're going to hang those uh uh, jackets on when they come into the home. Uh, put it strategically so that you know that once they enter it, it'll be easy for them to remember. How much time do we spend looking for our keys? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that used to be a problem a long time ago. And in, um, in one of our first homes, you know, we had a little hook that you just kind of hung up there mm -hmm. and, and that just solved it completely not even throwing it in the pocketbook and you know when you throw things in the pocketbook it could easily get swallowed up <laughs> you no, can't we, find it. we know what kind of pocketbooks we carry right yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just look at the comment section again um yeah <laughs> absolutely uh karen yes those show those shoes are it that's absolutely correct <clears throat> and um you do have to get those shoes organized. And, be, and before, um, once I make this comment about the comment section, I want you to address the shoe issue of Vandora. But before she does, make sure guys that you are sharing this broadcast by touching, now I gotta move way over here, by touching way down there where it says share on Facebook. 
Okay, you can share it on Facebook, on your timeline. You can indiv invite individual people. You can do a watch party. But of course, on Periscope, you can share with all your followers. You can tweet it out and you can put it on to Facebook. So make sure you do that, lovies, so that we can get this information out to everyone. And also, just to remind you here that we are talking to Vandora Wood. She is our special guest on today, also known as is it busy Lizzie? <laughs> yeah, busy you know, Lizzie, Lizzie and... is my name because my middle name is Elizabeth. Right. My so mom's name is Betty and my grand my grandmothers are both Elizabeths. And I'm my grandmother too. Well, we're gonna talk about that later, girl. And mm -hmm. also uh, she's talking about declutter and organize, maximize your time while sheltered in place. Exactly. We might as well maximize this time at this moment. So let's get back to um the comment that Karen made about shoes. the shoes <laughs> let's talk about shoes one yeah. you got one pair of feet so how many pairs can you wear at one time yeah when looking at your shoes take them by category one divide them by color two style so mm. heels flats sneakers tennis shoes whichever your your preference is sneakers or tennis shoes um, so divide them by category first, okay? Once you've got them divided by category, narrow them down. Have I worn these in a while? Are they my style? Am I really going to wear them? Is somebody else going to be happy with this? Happier than I am. Yeah. So break them down into... And then you can actually decide, make a real honest decision. Am I going to use this? Is it going to sit in my closet for another year? Is somebody else going to be happy with this? Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're making decisions about our shoes because we only have one pair of feet. <laughs> there. Absolutely. But I know women, we have a lot of shoes and we yeah. become consumers and we can't get in our closets. And most times because you can't find what you're looking for in your closet, you go buy another pair. Absolutely. And that adds to the clutter. Absolutely. So look, we got another comment here. Oh no, everyone's saying true, right? They agree with that, <laughs> absolutely. And some of us have more shoes than others. I love shoes, but I don't have a whole lot of them compared to a lot of people, but I have shoes. I um, and I have a girlfriend who has a whole room. It's organized, but it's just a whole room of just shoes. That's her one shoe closet, okay? Just, a whole, yeah. it was a bedroom, but it's, a place to put her shoes so. <laughs> in something like that Tony I would suggest she take a picture of the shoes mm -hmm. and if she got them in boxes put a picture on the outside yeah I think that is also that such way a you don't idea. have to go scrounging through boxes or flipping through bins to mm -hmm. figure out what's in them Absolutely. Absolutely. So the, the information here has just been really, really priceless. Guys, if you are really being blessed by this, please let us know in the chat. Also, make sure that you are sharing uh, this broadcast. I want to take a little bit of time to say, uh, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, wow, I would really like to be a guest, you can be a guest on this show by emailing me at info at wisecourtship.com. Um, of course, if we're already friends on Facebook, you can inbox me um, and we can talk about possibly you being a guest on this show too as well. Because if we're sheltered in place, we might as well get some good information <laughs> about what's going on. And I'm just so glad to have my friend Vandora Wood on okay. with me. Um, she is an amazing, and I'm what we call in social media, resetting. She is an amazing, amazing entrepreneur um, known as Busy Lizzie. Um, she's the owner of Busy Lizzie's Declutter and Organizing Services. Um, she's also the founder and creator of the Healthy Grieving Series. Um, and she has so much more. Make sure if you missed this, you watched the very beginning of this broadcast. I want to also say, too, that this broadcast is going to be also available on my YouTube channel. So you can go to bit.ly forward slash Tony to make sure both T's are capitalized. Everything else is lowercase. Um, and we're going to put this on our uh, YouTube channel as well. 
uh, so that you can get that information and be able to watch it over and over and over again. Please stay to the end because um, Vandora has a special, special free gift for you. And we love free. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned for this. Um, and make sure you go ahead and join the YouTube channel, subscribe, and um, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I will upload this video and other videos of this series. Okay, so with that being said, um, what are some things that you really wish people knew about decluttering and organizing? What are some things that you really would like to impart to people um, in, in this subject matter? Well, I just like to give some real statistics that hit home for me. Um, and hopefully it'll give shine some light on what I was talking about, meaning we become a uh, society of consumers. Mm. The size of our homes over the past 40 years, according to NPR, has tripled. But one in every 10 households rent outside storage space. That's right. Mm -hmm. The storage, self-storage industry is a $40 billion industry. Yeah. Let me save you some money again. Absolutely. $40 billion. Think about it. How much are we contributing to that? Absolutely. How much are you actually going to recover? You're paying Absolutely. into these storage units. Once you get most of the stuff out, and I'm saying this from my, my experience, this is what I experienced. My TVs didn't work. Yeah. So it's, uh, those are some shocking statistics. The $40 billion industry is just right behind, I mean, right in front of the Hollywood industry. Yeah, yeah. That's unbelievable. Know. That's unbelievable. That's lot. How much can you say? on your household expenses by reducing the amount of clutter you have, the amount of your outside storage space you have, and how much money can you save? Absolutely. And, you know, I am such a proponent of that. Um, you know, most people know me from my Wise Courtship brand, but the people who have been with me for the longest know that I was a management and leadership person. I've owned my own business for a long time. And so now I've been talking a lot about, um, you know, starting businesses, being really great with your, your money and creating streams of income and different things like that. And I remember working with a client and she was an older woman. And she had, um, she was trying to find money, okay, so that she could invest and do different things like that. So we were having our coaching session about it. And she had a storage unit mm. that she had for over 25 years. Wow. At the 25th year mark, the company decided to give her a 5% discount, <laughs> okay, on the services. She started off paying, I think, $100 a month. No telling how much it was at the at the moment. I told her I didn't want to hear it. I just, you know, just told her to close it. Okay, <laughs> get rid of right. whatever she has. She probably doesn't even need it because it's been there for twenty five years. Can you imagine how much money that is? You know, twelve times what twelve hundred dollars times twenty five. That's a lot of money that you could have it saved, is. and it didn't stay at a hundred dollars. Okay, we we're just using that figure. We know right. that it went up over the years. So that is amazing. That is just unbelievable. Um, Mr. Card Logic is here. Good to see you on today. Good to see you. He has an awesome, awesome um, show that he does as well, Relationship Gumbo. So it's so good to have you here mm -hmm. on today. So um, is there anyone who has a question for Vandora? She is our guest for today. Um, she is our special guest. She is talking about um, the cluttering declutter and organize, maximize your time while sheltered in place. I think we all can benefit from this um, unless you just happen to be an extreme neat freak. But there's always a challenge in some area where you can declutter, where you can um, organize because our lives are changing all the time. And exactly. speaking of that, what can we do when we when our lives are changing so much? How can we stay organized and decluttered when we're doing so many things? 
Well, that's that's why you have to schedule it. You schedule your meetings, you schedule your events, you schedule time to go to dinner, you schedule date nights, schedule your housework. And I mean, you don't have to do it so that it's boring. Make it fun. Yeah, absolutely. Make I it agree fun. With you. And right now we have all our family members. We're in we're putting it on their calendar. We're sending them invites. We're inviting them to the 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 Wood family declutter party. <laughs> and we're gonna make pizza after we're done. Yeah, absolutely. Make it really fun. Take yeah. pictures before and then take pictures after. The reward, you'll sit down and laugh about, oh my goodness, those are your socks in that corner. The, so enjoy it. Make it make yeah. it worthwhile. Absolutely. And look, listen, guys, don't forget to clean up after that pizza party, okay? <laughs> but then, that's, so that's a key. That's yeah. one of the key things that you need to do. At night, a 10-minute sweep. Yeah. 10-minute sweep. Yeah, I love I just love that idea. It's awesome. It's wonderful. And it's a great way to keep family together and to have a wonderful time doing something you need to do. Um, I want to give a shout out to to Vernon Freeland. Good to see you. Good to see you here on this chat. He's here on Facebook. Um, I, I neglected to say that Mr. Card Logic uh, is watching us via Periscope. And yes, I am feeling better. OK, I'm feeling a lot better. Little little bit of something, but I'm feeling a whole lot better. Thank you. Thank you. So um, let's see. Vernon says, I'm shedding files right now. Shredding. Shredding files right now. Uh, that date back to the 90s. Wow. And good for you that you are shredding. Now, guys, if you have a question or comment, please definitely put it through the chat box for Vandora because we're going to only have her for a few more minutes before we give out the free gift. And you know we love free honey. This is the free 99 club up here. Well, this club here too, they pay for stuff. Yeah. I, that's why I like. <laughs> so but we're gonna get our about, about um, shredding and, and, and paper. Let me give yeah. you a real quick paper thing, uh, paper strategy. We get a lot of mail, we get a lot of junk, we get a lot of stuff in our boxes. Have one location you open your mail. Mm, yeah. One location. In that location, all mail goes to that location. Make it a nice, pretty basket so that you don't mind looking at it on a regular right. basis. Go through that mail. Have a trash, a recycle, and a shred right there. Absolutely. That's such a great tip. Um, I, as you guys know, I have a P.O. box with my, my company, my business. So when I go to pick up the mail, anything that is not um, relevant get thrown and ripped up and thrown exactly. right there. <laughs> it won't even go Immediately of it. Yes, absolutely. So that's some great, great tips. Um, Mr. Carl Lockett says, I need to schedule. This quarantine has me napping like crazy. And, mm -hmm. um, and that's why this topic is so important, right? Because mm -hmm. we want to kind of take advantage of the time that we have. And, and that's not to say that Mr. Car Logic doesn't because no. he's always creating content and he's always doing some things. But, you know, it's so hard sometimes when we um, either we're getting rest or we're focused on work or we're focused on the children or whatever's going on right there at the moment. Um, and so, guys, if you missed the earlier tip on what we could do on day one to kind of get started, you definitely want to check that out. So before we talk about the free gift, is there anything that you would like to share with us that we have not touched on um, during our conversation, because I want to make sure you get that opportunity to discuss that. I just have one other statistic that I know that a lot of you are probably going to raise your hands on. 25% um, of the homeowners who have a two-car garage don't have room to park their cars in them. Mm. <laughs> That is amazing. Now there are other 32% only have room to park one car. Wow. What does that say to us? How much of what we currently have we're actually using? That's right. We, we pay prime money for the real estate that you 
you own that you call your home. And you do not want your home to be a place of anxiety, stress, paralysis, and depression. Mm. That is so true. That is so true. It's such a great point. And I just love Mr. Carl Logic because on Periscope, I always say we have a transparent scope. And so Mr. Carl Logic was the first one to say, me, me. <laughs> he identifies with the garage situation. That was me. It was yeah. me. I was, I, I mean, until I moved, I couldn't get, <laughs> couldn't get my car in the garage. Yeah. Snow yeah. outside. I got to go clean my car off. I got a garage. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Where's the logic? Yeah, absolutely. That is amazing. And that is awesome. We've had a wonderful conversation today, guys. We talked about declutter and organize, maximize your time while sheltered and set in place. And our guest was Vandora on Wood, our special guest. She's already family, guys. Many of you guys know that she's family. I'm so glad that she's here with us. And so we're going to talk about um, your special free gift. Okay. So tell us all about this. This is the link to the free gift, guys. Make sure you write it down and you grab that free gift. Can you tell us about it? Well, basically it's my clutter-free home guide. What it does is it gives you um, that it reaffirms the statistics that I gave you and, you know, where you can go and do some verification on them. And in there you get 10 um, just sort of ideas and tips on keeping your home a sanctuary for you and your family. And in this time, it's important for us to create that safe place that we can be where we have peace and calm and we have set the environment to be able to maximize everything that we've been given. That sounds good. And what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm going to put it into the chat, too, so you'll be able to click it a little easier there as well. And um, Vernon said, yes, thank you, Ms. Wood. Absolutely. <laughs> like thank that. you, Vernon, okay. for participating and for asking questions and giving your feedback. We need that. Absolutely. Now, before you go, we want to know how can we connect connect with you on social media? Um I'm I'm Vandora Wood on all platforms. Um, I'm also, um, my business page is in times of grief um, because like I said, we're learning to adjust to a new normal. So our strategy is to create a new dynamic for where we want to go in life. And this is a pivotal moment. So it's important for us to do that. Absolutely. So Vandora Wood, you see the name there. She's that's what she is on, on mostly all social media platforms. And of course, the guide is here. And I put that in the chat box for you as well. So we're going to say goodbye to Miss Vandora right now. Thank you so much for um, I meant to put your guide up there. Thank you so much for uh, being our guest. And guys, you guys stick right there for a moment. And I want to talk with you before we go. So thank you so much, Vandora. We appreciate thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate and, uh, you having me. Again, okay. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Take care, darling. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, guys. So um, if you like this broadcast, you can get a copy of this broadcast soon. It's going to go up uh, today or tomorrow. You can get a copy of this by watching it on my YouTube channel at bit.ly forward slash Tony Tube. Both T's are capitalized. So make sure that uh, you put the link exactly the way you see it. And I'm going to put it also to um, in the chat box as well. Um, if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the chat box if you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it. Um, I'm going to put that in here for you right now. And we're going to be ending um, this broadcast in a moment. I don't think I put my little slash there. Uh, there we go. Nope. There we go. All right. bit.ly forward slash Tony too. So you can click that. And when you click that link, um, did I do something wrong? Oh, something was filtered. All right. Come on now. Um, are you guys all getting my um, links? I'm not sure if all of y'all are getting my links. I'm sorry. I think I'm just in Periscope.
So if you're in Facebook and you didn't get my link, I will put it in after the broadcast, okay? Um, yeah, and Periscope, Periscope won't let me be great, y'all. <laughs> it will not put it up there. So somebody put that up there, this link, bit.ly forward slash Tony2. I'm so glad that you were blessed by this. So look, make sure you go to that link. When you go to that link, um, join, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell so you'll know anytime I upload a new video, okay? All right, dear ones. Um, I just want to remind you of a few things before we leave. If you have not done so already, make sure you um, visit my digital store at bit.ly forward slash shop Tony. Um, make sure you put it in that way because it's case sensitive. That's for the ebooks, for the e courses, as well as um, all digi di digital products. Okay. And we're also starting a journey um, for creating streams of income. And you can go to bit.ly forward slash create streams part one and join um, its a series. So that's the first part. And then the second part will be coming up soon. So make sure you are part of that as well. Okay. I think that's all that I need to say at this moment. Are there any other comments or questions or anything like that before we go? Okay, I think that's it. So this is Tony Henderson Mayers. I can be reached on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere as Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. This is Tony. Remember, I help you detect a lover worth living with. Mm -hmm.